So I finally got the entire new Flash movie set. And was the juice worth the squeeze? Well, I got the Batmobile and um, the Keaton here direct from McFarlane. So I didn't have to go to Macy's every day or have a million of my friends um, going to Target for me. So that was simple. This is kind of easy to find, but this is a sleeper for difficult figures to find. That's Batfleck, as I put quotes up, because at first it looked nothing like Ben, but he is becoming one of the most customized McFarlane figures ever surpassing the three jokers batman because there's a ton of detail on here i don't think when they produced the figures they knew he was going to be blue and he's just all black um there he is originally back there so everyone is painting him and you see that detail he's gorgeous and if you put a little paint in that face it looks more like ben um she's kind of a big that translucent skin tone is bad um i really this was the first one i got at target i really like this sculpt um and i kind of did a repaint to the unmasked key and then he's getting there um listen as we scroll down to the um animated series batmobile which does have working lights I think I got that for $120 when it came out. These figures down here who barely stand up but are, are really sharp looking were like 30 bucks a piece almost 10 years ago. So I let's tally this up. You know, 60 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20, 40, uh, 60, 80, 100, 120, 30, 150, you know, $210 without tax. I like it. It's fun. And 10 years from now, the thing is, in 10 years from now, I might not be crazy about the Flash figures because the movie will be long gone. But I'll never forget the 89 Batmobile and Keaton as Batman. And they're going to make... Don't bother repainting that belt. He is making a Keaton Batman. Trust me. I mean a Keaton 89 or maybe 91 Batman Returns Batman. That is coming out. So I think, you know, I wouldn't, it's tough. I don't know what's going on with McFarlane's production. So if you have to spend 120 to get this Batmobile, you know, you're at a show and it's there and you can maybe talk the guy down to a hundred bucks. I say do it. I wouldn't do it on eBay. I don't know. These things should be, he should keep cranking them out until the well runs dry like I said, his production, not his production, but his distribution has gotten so crappy. Um, on another note, the toy room is done. Here's all my Marvel Legends. I'm just going to, I'm not going to go over every one I got. I mean, I got Ant-Man now, so I'm happy with my Avengers team. So, there's a lot. I got to have my buddy come over with a better camera. As we look outside, I got my, this is my, did I get you dizzy? I'm sorry if I did. My workbench, it's my review figures. It's a mess. And I got my classified up, going strong. Cobra. You got Masterverse, which is becoming my go-to for fun cheap toys to get other than McFarlane I say cheap I mean they're 25 bucks so that's cheap nowadays Origins Mattel talk about screwing up production what is Mattel doing with this line well, it's such a mystery as to how to get these figures anymore there's some NECA stuff there's NECA's diorama and there's my diorama I made mine was cheaper but time-consuming and I made this horror house for my tunes Toonie Terrors here's some stuff in the corner down here we'll go over this 
better when my buddy comes over the camera and when it's dark out, it's dark out, there's no light coming in from outside and it's just the lighting in here. It'd be easier to see. Uh, I got like Star Wars things going on. That's my job on brushing. That's awful. Um, you know, I like Star Wars. It is what it is. I like Black Series and think they're still fun to collect. People take shelf dives when I open and close that garage. I gotta get foot stamps from them. They're like they're sleeping. Uh, just giving him the business. This is what I've had forever. Conan has to go on that horse. He's inside right now. So, and this Marty McFly will never stay on that hoverboard. And there's some Ghostbusters. And I want you to take care, have fun, enjoy your more Memorial Day. If you are a veteran, thank you for your service. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. There's a Patriot. That's a great figure. That is a NECA from um, Bioshock. That is, even if you don't like Bioshock, that is such a cool figure. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I have about two videos a week. It's been kind of slow because I haven't really bought anything and I don't have any, I don't like to force topics. So if I have nothing to talk about, I'm not going to post something just randomly. Um, you know, I don't have, I don't get paid by YouTube. I never, probably never will. So I got this guy too. This was, with his, this was new. I'm, I'm stuttering all over the place. If you're a McFarlane collector and you thought this was goofy, this is such a fun figure. Maybe I'll review this later because he's worth talking about. And I got this too. I mean, look at that. Look at that madness. Take care, have fun.